Hey, what's going on, guys? <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I was just um, I was scrolling through YouTube about a half hour ago, and I saw a, a comment, a question about for someone in the comments about um, states requiring all sales to occur at the dealership site. And I've gotten that question many times, and I've gotten that inquiry many times. I maybe I haven't done a full treatment video for that. I was just thinking about that. Let me just pull over. I pulled over. I'm here right now at the gas station. I'm about to go to Mannheim on Campbellton Road to line up some cars for um, uh, Tyrone, one of our car holders, so he can come pick him up. So, you know, I go out there and line the cars up every now and then. But anyway, the state says the, the sale has to occur at the dealership. Yes, many states do say that. However, most states do not ban internet sales you see that sell the cars at the dealership but i'm not saying don't sell the cars over the internet you see so there in that crease right there is a crease of opportunity and that's where auction access lives and breeds and i'll explain very quickly because you the dealer rep is not really selling the car Right, the sale is a paper transaction. You may have the fee, you may have the vehicle, you may have the, the receipts or whatever else. You may pay with your own money, but who signs the title? According to the state, that is the person who executed the sale, and the transaction occurred by online advertising or referral, internet. So there, in that crease right there, is where auction access lives. So a person can be in the same state or not the same state as the dealership. Excuse me. And if you're in the same state with the dealer, then 90% of the time you're going to go to the dealer physically and deal with the dealer. So I promote in Florida. I promote in Georgia. I promote in Minnesota. I promote in the states in which I have physical dealerships representation there. So any person can buy and sell through a dealership because the dealership is it's an internet sale it's an internet sale as long as the dealership assumes this responsibility and the liability of that internet sale and therein lies the contract between you the contractor and the dealership the dealer in that contract extends liability and responsibility to you and through you to the customer for every transaction all right, so 85%, 90% of people will be satisfied with this explanation, and there'll be some like, ah, it's not 100% that the thought, it's not, it's not illegal. And maybe it's not considered legal, but it's not considered illegal, as long as the dealership assumes all liability and responsibility, number one. Number two, everything is documented. Any dealership at any time who you're dealing with in my auction access program, every transaction is on the books because they're signing the title and they book that transaction, all right? That car is an asset on the books until you sell it. And then the dealer retains whatever is left of that 175, the dealer retains that profit on the transaction, on the sale. The dealership is selling the cars through the internet, through a web of dealer agents and representatives all right so that's again everyone's not gonna be happy there's always gonna be those people that are not gonna be comfortable with auction access auction access program like this and that's fine this is not for everybody it's for those individuals that feel that they can utilize this learn learn the business at a certain level get some experience develop a marketing strategy and then move ahead. And the people who do this for years successfully and never have a problem. The problem is when people are doing this and then now they're not having their dot their eyes dotted and T's crossed and then a customer suffers some kind of bodily harm. You know, a air, like I, I give this example, a person, a rep could buy a car from Mannheim and According to the documentation, it says that there's an airbag in there. Now, this person can be driving on the highway with their child, accident, and then no airbag engages. Person goes through the windshield. There's a fatality. 
you see now the dealership who originated that sale could be in one state the rep could be somewhere else but the dealership is liable for that transaction you see that's why a lot of dealers frown upon it they don't want to do that you see the states don't really want you to do that they want everything to occur at the dealership but they're not disallowing they're not disallowing internet sales all right i have many dealers who are buying and selling many cars throughout the across the country Specialty cars. Yeah, I know several dealers who that's all they do is buy and sell specialty cars. They have license for that. You see? They have whole businesses built upon that. And they're not less necessarily living in the state in which their license is domiciled in. Okay? So, it's a long video again. I always make these long videos. Hopefully that's helpful. Uh, shout out to Lewis King. All right.